Yo, what's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to the ones watching late at night. Today it is February 5th, which is the starting of the Mardi Gras event. Today is the grand opening of Mardi Gras, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna go ahead and explore the whole theme park eat a lot because there is a lot of amazing trees to go ahead and try out for this year's Mardi Gras event. So without further ado, let's go inside. You're a wizard, Harry. As soon as you walk into Universal Studios Florida, you are bumped in by the Universal Studios store at City Walk. And here is the merchandise. Let the good times roll. There is a lot of Mardi Gras merchandise. Look at this. So I'm at the Universal Studio store at Universal and check all of this Mardi Gras merch out. Oh, I really like these long sleeves. Oh, look at this. Louder, wilder, and I can't get the last word over there. And of course, the famous alligator. Let the good times roll. Here we go, guys. Today is the grand opening or the launch day of Mardi Gras at Universal. It is starting today, February 5th, and goes throughout not only February, but also March and April. It ends April 24th. We have been going to these events for probably the last two, three years, and we love it because it is the number one place to go ahead and eat amazing foods by these world-renowned chefs they get paid by universal to come over here and make these amazing foods and treats for us here at universal studios huh, today is actually probably around the 60s right now so it's a little bit chilly which i actually like i'd rather be cold than sweating that is definitely one of my perks here at universal studios today it is a bit gloomy as you guys can see here today but that is not going to deter us from having the time of our lives. So we have entered through the Universal Arches right over there. And as you can see, a lot of Mardi Gras. You can hear the music all around. And we're probably going to make our way through Hollywood Boulevard first. And then make our way to New York and San Francisco. I made a quick stop over here by the Transformer ride to go ahead and show you guys all these amazing foods, beverages, draft beers, and drinks. They also have vegetarian items and gluten-free as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, see what's behind it, see what's inside of everything, you can pause the video anytime. You can find all those amazing foods and drinks right over here in this huge tank here. I'm gonna go ahead and go around so that way you guys can see more or less where it's at. So it's right in front of Mel's drive-in and the gift shop of the Transformer ride. So I'm not gonna go ahead and eat anything over there. I actually want that po' boy that they are offering, I believe, either in San Francisco or New York. Uh, one of those areas. So we're gonna go over there and check those places out. We're making a quick stop to this little kiosk right in front of the Fast and Furious Supercharged ride to try out this really cool natural hot chicken mac and cheese. Here's everything inside is a creamy white cheddar cheese topped with crispy chicken bites tossed in Nashville hot sauce and green onions or you can substitute the sauce for hot honey and golden barbecue. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video at any time to go ahead and read everything that is basically everything that's inside this little kiosk here. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to try this out, but this is the barbecue, the Nashville barbecue mac and cheese. This is so good. It's a mix of hot and spicy, but also sweet. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is so good. I definitely recommend this Nashville hot chicken barbecue what is it called again <laughs> nashville hot chicken mac and cheese this is amazing it has sweets it has hot and is pretty spicy uh you could pick not to go ahead and get spicy because um you're able to get just the honey the honey barbecue or what was the other one golden hot honey 
gold. Honey. Yeah, there's a golden hot honey. The beat builders are on full party mode. Fans here dancing. Oh, they are throwing beats. Let's go. Some new performers, three performers. Thank you, thank you. You as well. Wow. We're gonna make a quick stop to the tribute store. I actually filmed everything inside, but let's go again since it is Mardi Gras day. Let's go inside once again. If you guys haven't seen my tribute store video, I'll go ahead and link it up up on this video but the theme this year is the design and dynamics of the float so you walk around through you walk throughout not only the concept but fabrication and built this is going to be a quicker version of my huge video about the whole tribute store but let's walk around and follow this alligator head if you guys love easter eggs that's actually the halloween horror nights tribute store uh window up there Universal loves to reuse their items, so it's no shocker that you're able to go ahead and see all of these old and retro things hidden. Here's a concept art of the alligator head. You can see a lot of really old floats going through the arches. A lot of old pictures. They used to throw coins back in the day, now they throw beads only. Probably a safety hazard throwing coins around. Another quick little easter egg is those foams out there are actually from the Halloween Horror Nights Beetlejuice house actually. Here's the alligator head once again but this time it is putting on the scales and all really cool features for the final product which will be a lot of glitter all the way around. Adjust size and color. Here's a little sticky note. These are the new Mardi Gras shirts. Oh this one's really trippy. These are the costumes Mardi Gras team members used to wear back in the day. And here's the final product, not only of the alligator head, but the whole float as a whole. Kind of reminds me of Christmas up here. Look at these street performer outfits here. <laughs> what is going on here? Look at the bear! He's so excited to see him! What is going on here? <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious! Guys, unfortunately there is no floats whatsoever all the way around the parks to take some really cool pictures, which is kind of a bummer. I really want to take some really cool pictures with the floats. My hair is crazy because it's actually really cold outside and it was also raining in the morning, so yay me! But the first float parade is starting at 7.45 and hopefully we are 
able to go ahead and see it. It does travel around half the park, so hopefully we can go ahead and get some really cool footage on it. All right, so now that we ate a couple of little cool things, we're going to go ahead and try out some really cool drinks. They have this really cool drink called the Category 5 Punch. Also the Gombe. If you guys are big drinkers, I don't really drink that much, but you can pause the video and check out everything available for this year's Mardi Gras at Universal Studios Florida. Oh man, look what we got. We got the Mom Bay. Look, look at that. Oh, it changes color. So the straw changes color. I don't know if the cup changes color, but the straw definitely changes color. Look at that. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Check out this really cool art feature here. Art deco, trippy kind of vibe. Really like it. Look at this cup. All right, give me, give me a taste test because I haven't even tried it. Yes, I saw that. I saw how it changes color. You touched it? Oh, you touched it and it changed color. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's so cold. We got our very first parade coming in. Look at that! Look at these stilt walkers! I guess the theme is space this year. So I'm here in front of the tribute store enjoying this really cool drink. Mom Bay, you definitely gotta try this out. I'm not a drinker of alcohol. I do not recommend it if you're not a drinker of alcohol, but it's pretty good. So I was walking around the theme parks and found out that New York and San Francisco are the big majority locations where they have the really cool foods and all of that. Aside from that, they don't really have too much going on around. They also don't have a lot of floats running around either. Uh, so yeah, this is a lot different than last year's Mardi Gras. For the people who love Latino food, this is the kiosk for you. They have carnitas arepas, picadillo arepas, and mozzarella arepas, and even a yuca fries with chimichurri. Oh my god, I love it. Right off the exit of the Transformer ride, you have this really huge place. This is actually where you get most of the really cool drinks and foods. All in one shop. Over here by the kids zone, they have these really cool kiosks. Look at this rock formation with LEDs. Not LEDs, more like just regular lights here. Um, but they have more Spanish food here. Papas bravas. And savory sopa y pilla. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even saying. They also have masks and beads being sold all around the park. And some night masks as well. So that way when the night comes in, you're able to light up the sky. Also, I just noticed that the cup itself actually changes color depending on your temperature. This is actually something I remember from last year. Although they did have some lights. I think I remember some lights around it as well. I went all the way to Diagon Alley to check out these really cool snails. Look at the lighting. At night, I love Diagon Alley, guys. It's just the most livid place that you can go ahead and walk through. Everything is moving. All these magical shops here. Look at the hippogriff. We made our way inside. Look at these frogs. Oh man, they actually look so realistic. And here are all the plushes. The Thesro, which is actually one of the most famous plushes right now, has been discontinued, or I guess not discontinued, but not in the parks since the first time I ever saw it in the parks. Hopefully, uh, they do come back and restock it because it's definitely one of the most fan favorite ones in the store. Look at all these Cornish pixies. Oh my goodness. Oh, everyone's waiting for the dragon. Whoa. And of course, I have to make my way into Borgen and Burks, the darkest shop in the Wizarding World. And you can see some movie props here. These are some of the Death Eaters masks. This is the furthest that Mardi Gras can pass. Wait, hold up. Whoa, okay, Emily just showed me 
There is a sweet corn Johnny cake. I had no idea. What's up? <laughs> Woo! Nice. Oh man. Okay, we should definitely try this out here for you guys. <laughs> Oh, but look at the night time. I love walking around Universal Studios at night because look at this, guys. Oh, and now we are making our way into Hollywood or New York for the Mardi Gras parade. Let's go get some beads. Here it is, guys. Everyone is already waiting for the parade. Hopefully no beads go to the Revenge of the Mummy since it is being closed down for refurbishment till summer 2022. But aside from that, let the good times roll. I think I'm situated right here in front of the Tonight Show. The parade should start in about 10 to 15 minutes. The beads are on their way. Dodging beats. Look at that flow. The theme for this year's Mardi Gras is Planet Mardi Gras. I'm trying to record as much as possible, but they're launching it at me. <laughs> People are just collecting it from the floor. <laughs> So the theme for this year's Mardi Gras is Planet Mardi Gras. It's a lot of theming, a lot of space theming. Oh. Look at this float guys, it's so nicely decorated. Look at that, nice. Okay, 
Look at this flow. Oh my goodness. It is a huge alligator. Wow. And it's a, whoa, it's not just one side. It's three. Oh, okay, people are getting hit with, with the beads. <laughs> nice. People are on top of the alligator. Now that the parade is over, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the lineup for the live concerts being performed at Mardi Gras over here at Universal Orlando. So today it is going to be Sugar Ray and I'm gonna scroll down slowly and if you guys wanna stop by and see, you know, maybe you wanna watch, uh, maybe you wanna go ahead and check out Marshmallow on March 6th, that's the day that you will be able to see him. And here's the whole lineup guys. If you're thinking about coming over here for Mardi Gras, this is definitely one of those uh, times where you're, you're able to go ahead and see some live performers. And look at the stage with the Rip Ride Rocket right behind. Mardi Gras Bee Tree. So tell me, why does everybody throw the beads there? It, it's been a tradition for years. That, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, in about a month, if you arrive and you come back again, you'll see it filled with colors everywhere. No problem. And the tradition, the Mardi Gras bee tree. Oh, there, <laughs> we have some people throwing the Mardi Gras bee tree. Throwing some beads to the Mardi Gras bee tree. <laughs> well, that is going to be everything. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, smash that like button down below. And as always, hit that subscribe button down below because I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content on a daily basis. If you guys are thinking of coming to Mardi Gras, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's always a fun time. And if you guys love partying, hey, there's no better place to go ahead and party than at Mardi Gras at Universal. So without further ado, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.